Today, I'm applying a below-knee FRC cast. FRC means Focus Rigidity Cast. This type of cast is suitable for all indications in and around the ankle. This would include fractures, trauma, orthopaedic conditions and soft tissue injuries. The cast can be made removable at any stage of the treatment regime. The reasons for the need to have a removable cast includes wound care, physiotherapy and personal hygiene. The products required for this application are Benicar stockinette, two pieces of 7.5 cm Benicar synthetic undercast padding, one roll of 10 cm Benicast Advanced, one 10 cm roll and one 7.5 cm roll. Benicast Adhesive Hoop and Non-Adhesive Loop. Adhesive Fleecy Web or Felt for additional protection of bony prominences and also to edge the cast. Position the limb and ask your assistant to maintain the position throughout the application. Start the cast by applying one layer of stockinette to the limb, extending from the tibial tuberosity to the end of the toes. Now using the Benicast Synthetic Undercast Padding, apply a double layer longitudinally to the anterior aspect of the limb. This will assist in the safe removal of the cast. Now apply a second layer of stockinette as with the first. Roll it onto the limb. It is imperative this is smooth and wrinkle free. This technique follows the principle of total contact casting with no conventional padding. So additional adhesive felt padding is required over bony prominences and vulnerable areas. This particular padding is quite thin. You can use it double or use a slightly thicker felt if required. I have pre-cut two circles. I will now cut a small hole, therefore offloading the pressure from the bony prominence. The areas that often need protection include the malleoli, base of fifth metatarsal, hallux valgus and head of the fibula. The material I am using today is Benicast Advanced, which is a premium casting material with a unique four-way stretch, so therefore ideal for this technique. Apply examination gloves, as it is important when using synthetic casting material to prevent the polyurethane resin from sticking to your skin. Position the limb. This is usually in plantar grade 90 degrees at the ankle and ensure the stockinette is smooth and wrinkle-free, paying particular attention to the ankle. Now measure the limb along the posterior aspect, extending from the midfoot to just behind the knee. The reason for the slab to be short is because it is applied to the limb with a slight stretch. This will ensure the slab fits perfect around the ankle. Cut the slab and dip both the slab and the roll into the water. The water should be 22 degrees room temperature. Position the slab at the base of the toes and ask your assistant to hold this quite firmly. Put a slight stretch on the slab as you position it around the ankle and up the leg. This will ensure perfect conformability around the ankle. Using the remainder of the roll, start at the proximal aspect and secure the slab by wrapping the roll edge to edge. Ensure the slab is a perfect fit around the ankle with no ridges. Continue along the foot to the base of the toes. And cut the material off. Mold slightly to ensure the cast is wrinkle free with excellent lamination. Using the 7.5 cm Venicast Advanced, make a stirrup by measuring from mid-calf on the medial to the lateral aspect of the tibia. Now double this and cut the slab. 
Dip both the slab and the roll into the water. The water should be 22 degrees room temperature. Now position the stirrup with slight tension covering both malleoli. Your assistant will need to hold and maintain the slab during the application. Using the remainder of the roll, start to bandage at the distal aspect covering edge to edge, paying particular attention to the overlap around the ankle. Continue up the leg, ensuring the slab is smooth throughout. Now cut off the roll at approximately the base of the tibial tuberosity. Change places with the holder and mould the cast well. At approximately four to five minutes, the cast has reached the initial set time. You may now rest the limb on a pillow or soft bed. Using a pencil, mark the cast. I have used a marker pen for demonstration purposes only. Draw a lazy S along the anterior aspect of the leg. I prefer to start with a curve at the ankle. Now using bandage scissors, start to remove the cast by cutting the top layer of stockinette and the casting material. Ensure the scissors are on top of the padding and the blade is parallel with the limb. As I start to feel pressure on the foot, I change my scissors to surgical wire cutters. These are a much smaller blade and therefore apply less pressure to the patient's limb. Continue cutting, making small steady snips. When you have cut across the flexor surface of the ankle, you may change back to the bandage scissors if preferred. Remove the cast from the patient's limb and discard the extra padding. Trim the cast at both extremities. Following the anatomical guidelines, I am trimming this back to expose the little toe. I am now applying fleecy edging tape. I will start with the distal aspect, now the proximal, ensuring this is smooth with no ridges on the inside of the cast. I will continue along the anterior border of the cast, again ensuring it is smooth throughout. You are now required to apply four pieces of adhesive hook and non-adhesive loop. One on the distal aspect of the foot and three spread evenly along the leg. Reapply the cast and check it is a perfect fit. Ensure it does not cause constrictions and is comfortable for the patient. If clinically acceptable to weight bear, apply the Benicast post-op shoe. This is the ideal choice to provide comfort and support for the patient with excellent protection for the cast. It is important to provide comprehensive written and verbal cast care instructions. Sign up to the Benecare Academy. To download a PDF step-by-step -step application guideline of this tutorial and be the first to watch when we launch new videos, benacaremedical.com forward slash academy. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube to see all our latest products, videos and competitions. If you require more information on our products and training, please visit our website benacaremedical.com